Today I'm gonna bring you the best deals that I see on watches, both on Amazon and AliExpress. So we are gonna talk, of course, major brands, and we're also gonna talk some Chinese little guys right in there, but always of the best quality and at the best prices, because that is what we do on this channel. And if this is the kind of content that you like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now. So we are gonna start right away with one of the best deals that I checked and that I wanted to talk to you really quickly before it goes. It is the Baudry Voyager. We have discussed about this watch many times. In fact, I still have mine from last year or two years ago, I can remember. It is a really cool watch made out of titanium. That is the cool part about it. It is an NH35 military style watch with great loom and the $70 goes, of course, for the different versions on the canvas strap. The version on the full titanium bracelet goes for a little bit more. I think it's like 107. I would personally not recommend that you go for the bracelet because it makes the watch feel a little bit too bulky. However, this little watch, this little 40 millimeter watch is one of the best sellers and for a good reason. You've got that very nice look, that very nice material and I am glad to see that they are lowering the price, at least during this very small sale. Now we're gonna go to Japan across the Chinese Sea and we are gonna go to one of the favorite brands around, Casio, and we are going to discuss the Casio Royale. I have discussed it in length in many of these videos, it is one of the best deals that I see. You have a lot of functionality on that little square watch. You've got a chronometer, you've got a timer, you've got, of course, a day date. And the main feature of the watch is that world time functionality, which works great. You can even see a little map of the world and it will just slide illuminating the different time zones. It is a great, great little watch. My father actually stole mine, so I have to get one back. The resin version is going for $19.99, and that is $19.99, that's not even $20. And the metallic version one, meaning the one with the stainless steel bracelet, is going for a little bit less than $30. That is just a crazy, crazy price for so many functionalities and for such an iconic watch. Third watch of the selection is also a Casio. It's the last Casio I do, I promise. It is the Casio Juro. It is the MDV 106, so the one with a little marling in the dial. It is an amazing little watch, made famous. It's pretty much iconic by now, with a really functional 120 click unidirectional bezel. Some loom, it is not the great loom, but it is there and it is quartz movement and just an iconic, iconic look to this watch and of course 200 meters of water resistance. So this is a real actual diver with a screw down crown. Last month over 2000 people bought this watch just on Amazon USA and it is always like that. It is one of the best sellers of Casios and that is for a reason. The Casio MDV 106, you cannot go wrong with one of these. The downside is of course the size. It is a 44 millimeter diameter watch, although it has a right under 50 millimeters in log to log, so it still can be worn with people with average size wrists, I would say, even if that 44 will make it go on the upper edge of what they can wear. An iconic watch for under $50, what else can you hope for? Now we're gonna hop back to China and we're gonna go back to Baudry. And I'm gonna talk to you about a watch that is also really interesting. At first I dismissed this watch a bit. They sent it to me months, maybe even a year ago. And at first I wasn't really that impressed because I thought that it looked a bit like a titanium submariner. That would actually be pretty cool, but still. Um, but by looking at it, and by wearing it and by feeling it, I think that it's a watch that deserves some attention. I think that even though the shape of the watch might resemble a Submariner, it is pretty much the only part of the watch that does. Because first of all, this watch is made out of titanium. 
the bracelet is also titanium, although I don't have that. I only have the version with the very nice rubber strap. Those very marked arrow hands, like the Omega Ranchero and the, the Seamasters of old. And you have this very peculiar shape of the dial. And the very interesting thing here is that those kind of scales are also loomed. So you do have some loom on the hands and markers, but you also have some light loom on those scales. And it's quite impressive when you're at night. Of course, it does not last that long, but it is pretty cool that they included it. One of the reasons why it dismissed this watch at first was because of the rotating bezel. It is a 120 click, but as you pretty much know, on titanium watches, the rotating bezels can be hit and miss. And at first I thought it was a little bit of a miss here, but the more I use it, the more I feel it is quite okay, actually. It is not absolutely great. It will not feel as good as one on a stainless steel diver, but still it is quite acceptable acceptable for what you're paying for. And what you're going to be paying for, and that is why I'm discussing this watch here, is $145, which is really good for a watch with these characteristics. Of course, I have not talked to you about the fact that you've got an NH35 in here, which is quite impressive because this watch is only 11.9 millimeters in height. It might be the fact that it is only 100 meters water resistant, even though you've got a screw down crown which is important to some people that means that you will be able to swim with it no problem but you will not be able to dive with it still who does that with their watches nowadays but it is good to know also if you flip the watch you see this kind of stranded sea turtle i don't think it's particularly well done but it is to note that they have taken the time and effort to work this material as i was mentioning the strap is also pretty good i believe it is f KM rubber, well, what else would it be in this day and age? I couldn't be 100% sure. Anyway, it is pretty good, pretty soft, and it also has this quick release mechanism. The buckle is signed Baudry, and I believe it is titanium as well. Anyway, for the price, it is a really, really good option. For just a little bit more, let's go to a mastodont of watchmaking, Seiko, and this is from the Seiko 5 line, the SRPE 55K1. I reviewed this this watch ages ago and I was really impressed at the time because even though this watch has some flaws I did believe at the time and I still believe that it was one of the best Gara watches that Seiko had done. It is actually one of the first Gara watches period I believe when we started talking about these kind of watches. It is a 39 millimeter beauty resembling that DNA from the Seiko 5 sports line dating back to the beautiful SKX of course, but imagine an SKX without the bezel and with a little bit slimmed down hands and features. So this makes for a really cool, pretty elegant watch, though it remains sporty, very nice, very well made. The only downside is that you've got just hardex crystal and you have a press clasp. Those are typical Seiko 5 downsides. I hate it when it comes on a Seiko 5 at $400, $500. Here this one is just $169. At that price, I don't really mind. It is actually pretty okay. The deal is really good, and that's why I'm talking to you about it right here. Of course, the 4R36 movement is in here. What I have heard lately is that the 4R movements are made by Seiko in Japan, and that the NH movements are made elsewhere, Malaysia, China, I believe, but supervised by Seiko themselves. That is apparently the difference between the 4Rs and the NH movements and of course you have a 4R in here. Loom is really good especially for a Gata watch and you can absolutely not go wrong with one of these especially at this price point. As we are talking classics let's go to a major classic of the channel and overall of course and it is the Orient Kamasu. The first version of the Kamasu. There's three versions up to now. I'm talking about the first because I think it is the prettiest according to me especially on that forest screen dive. This watch is both nice, elegant, it is a true diver with a screw and crown and 200 meters of water resistance, although it is not a 6425 ISO 35 diver. I believe you could dive with this one, you could do some shallow diving. And, and when you compare it to the previous Seiko, you have a sapphire crystal here, and I believe that that is 
what made this watch famous, besides from the fact that it is actually a really elegant diver. At just 41.5 millimeters in diameter, around 13 millimeters in height, an automatic in-house F6722, and you can have this modern classic for just $205. Last watch of the selection is a watch that I talked to you about quite a lot, but not in the usual version that you're expecting. I'm going to talk to you about the Tsuyosa, but this one is the burgundy dial. Of course, as we're talking deals here, there's a black version that is 229, which is a really good price. This burgundy is a little bit more expensive at 273, but check that dial. It is actually really, really interesting, don't you think? Apart from that, it is the same thing that you get on the Tsuyosa, that 40 millimeter case, that integrated bracelet design, all the best that you can expect from Citizen and from its famous Tsuyosa with, of course, that sapphire crystal as well. Unlike Seiko, Citizen and Orient understood that sapphire, even at entry level points, is important. That's pretty it for the selection, guys. Thank you so much. If it was useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of content coming. Thanks again. I'm going to leave you here with some other selections that you will find useful, I believe, and with another subject that you will find useful as well on watches that you should really avoid. Thank you very much, and I'll be seeing you very soon in those videos. Goodbye.